it was literally like if you read it, it's not what it seems. And I trust Viva Fry because he's an actual lawyer. <laughs> so there we are. <laughs> All right. So I want to go ahead and take a look at a development that has occurred uh, while we were preparing for this. So this is my steel chair. I'm pulling it out from under the ring. All right. So so Razor Fist, um, uh, who I think most people are probably familiar with, he's a, he's a, a very uh, fun political commentator. He, he makes this prediction. He says as the a state level court in Colorado using a federal level in, uh, amendment as a pretext to remove a candidate from a ballot in a federal election is some uh, laughed clean out of court cock and bull. But the point isn't uh, isn't for it to be necessarily to stick. It's intended to trigger a cascade to normalize this for other blue, purple and purple stage states, which is why it isn't enough to merely overturn this as a Supreme Court level. They need consequences such as disbarment or, yes, even prosecution of the prosecutors must be imposed. So he's saying, OK, yeah, maybe they think that and they obviously they stayed their own decision to wait for the, the Supreme Court to respond. So obviously uh, there's some questions for in their minds there as to whether even the Supreme Court would allow them to attempt to use the 14th Amendment in this way. However, I think that Razor Fist ends up being proven correct because right after he posts this like you know maybe maybe uh five or six hours after he posts this we get this announcement that the california lieutenant governor has urged the secretary of state to explore the legal options to remove the former president from california's primary ballot here and we can see that there's a formal request by the uh lieutenant governor of California to seek any and all means uh, to remove just like Colorado did. So it's clear that there is now a virtue signaling cascade that's going to occur across all blue states to attempt to remove Trump from the ballot. Now, even if this isn't successful, and I think ultimately it, it probably won't be successful uh, because of the kind of conservative Supreme Court at the moment, but even if this isn't successful, this is an accelerant, man. You have to agree with that. If every blue state attempts to remove Trump from the ballot, that is going to put things to a fever pitch. That That is just trying well, to what blow if they just lose? I mean, if the if Supreme Court overturns one, they'll overturn them all. They'll just overturn all 18 of them. But, but even the attempt has to be an insane acceleration of political tensions in the United States, right? I, like. I mean, I mean, what what is this McIntyre? Right? I played Viva Fry. You come back with Razor Fist. <laughs> so we're, like we're, we're like playing Magic the Gathering with like uh, counter spell. Okay, I'm gonna play okay. Steve Turley on you. Here's, here's Steve Turley's analysis. Look. I'm not prepared. No, I that that's the ultimate uh, the ultimate card. Yeah, look, look. Wait, wait for this own. Share the screen. Huh? Oh no, no, no! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Trump just won 2024. Backlash imminent. Libs Devastated. owned. I have, I have, I, how, I, how can I, I cannot respond. Turley clearly <laughs> is in your corner. And uh, I mean, if you and Steve are on the same side, then how, how, how could I be right? Um, so I, <laughs> the Turley card <laughs> has been played. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I, I appreciate you coming in. I, I still think that there is a clear and definitive case uh, that you should just throw in the towel that I've already uh, won, uh, that th this is this one is over. However, if you continue to be need the embarrassment of another year of devastating defeats at the hands of my predictions, then who am I to deny that to you? Uh, I will happened, continue cigars. What happened on this stream? It was <laughs> WrestleMania five. You thought you were Macho Man. You dropped the big elbow, but then the finger point, the Hulk up. <laughs> <laughs> the big boot, the leg drop. Yes. <laughs> All right. Cheers, Aaron. All right, man. Thanks for coming, coming by. All right. All right, guys. Thanks to Academic Agent for coming in uh, on the unexpected appearance. But uh, I think we can all agree that I clearly devastated him. It's, I, you know, he had a point or two uh, in, in his favor, but I think clearly so, many of his points were, were overcooked. And I think uh, overall, the, the evidence is clearly. Uh, in my favor. However, uh, we do have uh, plenty of super chats here, so let me go ahead and start to work my way through here. Uh, Tim Miller here says, "AA lost the mo the moment he shook hands with you." Yeah, I I look, I still firmly believe that the cigar is mine or cigars. I guess there there's some unspecified number of cigars in question that were discussed. He thought it was 
uh, only one, even though he said multiples. Still a point of contention, but that's fine. Uh, I, I think it is it is over him for him, but I, I will allow him to continue uh, his attempts to secure the cigar here. Deuce Boogaloo for twenty dollars. Thank you very much, sir. The Colorado court has essentially guaranteed two things: the real uh, the reelection of Donald Trump, and that America will be in a hot. I'm not going to say that just because of YouTube before the end of 2025, especially with the U.S. Supreme Court only restoring Trump to the ballot. Six three. Um, I would certainly say that I so I I would say that Trump was already in a position to win before we got here. Um, I think that that's already was the case. Uh, moving moving towards that now. Will they strike that uh, that ability? I mean, if they do, then you really are in a true constitutional crisis. Um, but but I don't know. We'll we'll see. I will the Supreme Court save the left from kind of their own devices they might uh that that's entirely possible but it's very clear that the left if the woke is put away it will not be because the left did so it's because conservative forces managed to save them from kind of their own uh heading towards the cliff and i think that's the key to the bet the whole point of the whole point of saying put the book away this is the problem is academic agent keeps missing he keeps mixing in any conservative victory as evidence for his side that the elites are putting the woke away that's not how that was not the nature of the bet the bet was that the left would intentionally dial this back, that the, those in power would intentionally step away from the craziness. And so I don't think he can just bring up every victory by Chris Rufo or every victory handed down by, say, a Supreme Court and say, well, that's evidence that the left is putting the woke away. That, that's that's not what that is. You, you have to show evidence that the left is intentionally. Now, when you say BlackRock is stepping away, when you say Disney is stepping away, when you say that a uh, Biden run U.S. military is is looking to change the recruitment. OK, those are arguments. Those are real arguments. But just pointing to things that Chris, Ru Chris Rufo is doing correctly and saying, well, oh, that's the left putting the book away. No, that's garbage. Those are those are cheap points. They don't count. Uh, Creeper Weirdo here says my argument is the left is too petty. Enough said. I, th I think that's correct. I think that is correct, sir. Uh, Davis Soar here says Merry Christmas and total Oren victory. Thanks to Biden inflation. I can only buy you Swishers. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate your donation, even though it will not uh, bring about the finest cigar. I, I appreciate your support there. Uh, Juice Buglo says, as a Hoppian, the de facto end to the farce of democracy is making me euphoric. Again, yeah, I mean, they're, they're trying to change the name. They're trying to change what democracy means, which is an amazing thing. Uh, but they've done that with all kinds of other uh, phrases. They've done that with racism and equality and all of these things. So why not try it with uh, with uh, with democracy? Right. But but yes, it, it is essentially being removed. Whatever democracy used to be, it will not be now, which, by the way, I made a video, I think a couple of years ago now about talking about why democracy was already dead, in which I already predicted a lot of this stuff. So if you'd like to see those predictions come true, you can check that out. Uh, Binary Surfer, how's it going, man? He says, uh, as I've been saying for some time, you cannot just put the woke away any more than you can just turn a jihad in a jihadi into an atheist. Too much momentum. I tend to agree with you there. I believe that the woke are true believers, and I think that's a apt comparison. That uh, that that's like trying to tell jihadists, oh well, no, just believe in something else. You know, just 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 stop and believe in something else. That that's not how this works. 